Hey everybody, welcome back to Jones Edition. I'm gonna get right to it. Changing the oil on my 2013 Jeep Wrangler JK. It's got the 6.3 liter engine, V6. Let me show you guys what you're gonna need. First thing, most important, is you got your oil. Mopar recommends a 5W20 SAE oil. I like to use the mobile uh, stuff. I pick it up from Walmart, pick it up from pretty much anywhere. Mobile's been great for me. I like to add about a quart. You need six quarts total of oil. I like to add a little bit of Lucas uh, stop engine oil leak as my, my last quart of oil. I get every once in a while I get a drop or two of oil on the floor of my garage and it just helps the, the engine run a little bit better, helps it stop leak, stuff like that. Filter, you're gonna need the Mopar MO-744 Mopar oil filter it's right up front. Use an oil catch pan thing to refill the oil. A rag, you always need rags. You need a 15 16 socket for the oil filter. You need a half inch socket for the drip pan bolt and that should be pretty much it the three spots you're going to pay attention to is the dipstick i like to pop that a little loose a little bit of airflow this is your oil filter cap here that's where the 15 16th bolt gets that off and this right here is your 5w20 says it right here for your engine oil i like to crack that loose i always make sure that you have your engine kind of cooled off under the jeep now this is your drip pan this is your oil pan right here this is where you drain your oil from to drain the oil. Be kind of quick here. All right, I'll let that go for a few minutes. Just let it, I mean, it's got a slow drip right now, but I think we're gonna be fine. Most of the oil is out. I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleanup job here. I'm gonna put that bolt back on. I hand tighten it as far as I can go. I believe this there, there's a spec for this tightness here, but I don't go crazy. I just, I get it, uh, hand tight and then I do it a couple couple just snug it I just kind of snug it down a little bit Here we go, we got the oil filter. This oil filter cap has an O-ring. Inside the new box, there's another oil filter ring. You wanna swap that out. All right, now that we have the oil drained, we're gonna take this nasty filter here. It just kinda of comes straight out. I usually take a rag with it. it has these clips, kinda of clips onto a, a circle inside the cap here. Uh, this is trash now. I take a flathead screwdriver. I carefully go underneath here, to, not to try to damage the cap at all. Um, but then I kind of pull off this, this O-ring here that's on the cap. Take that old one off. That's going to be trash as well. This is the new O-ring. Kind of carefully place it back on there. All the way to the bottom or the top, depending. Take the new filter. Goes on the same way the old one came off. My understanding and the research I've done, this filter here does not require priming of any kind. So you don't have to fill it up with oil at all. Just like that. This now goes back on. Fifteen sixteenths socket again, or twenty-four millimeter, whatever you have. Snug. At this point, we're ready to start filling up the oil. I already have the cap off. Make sure it says engine oil. Got a funnel here to make it a little easier. If you want to make it a little easier to pour, don't buy the five quart sizes. Cap back on, a half turn. Gotta check the oil level. And we are, it's hard to tell on camera, but we're in a good safe range, good color. And that's it, changed your oil, super easy, not a big deal, save a little bit of money. Oil is expensive no matter how you do it, if you get done at a shop or buy it from the store. But you can take some pride in to know that you can change your own oil if you do it yourself. So save some money, make sure you do it right, follow some steps, be safe. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Jones Edition. I'll catch you guys on the next one.